Will your narcissist fall for the new supply in a way that he or she never fell for you? When your narcissist gets a new lover, a new friend, a new close person, will they treat them differently than they treated you? Will everything you taught the narcissist benefit the new supply? That's what we're talking about today at queenbeing.com. Let's get started. My name is Angie Atkinson and on this channel I offer free daily video coaching to help you discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse and toxic relationships. I like to call it toxic relationship rehab. Does that sound good to you? If so, hit that subscribe button and let's get going. I want you to take a moment to imagine something with me, if you will. You've left your toxic narcissist after so many years of mental and emotional abuse. You're finally starting to breathe again, right? You're finally free of the horrible, selfish energy that the narcissist carries around with him or her and you feel like you're a brand new person. Life is just starting to get really, really good. And then it happens. As you're humming to yourself in the grocery store one day, you spot your former would-be soulmate two hours over and there's something different about him or her. They seem happier. They seem brighter. Relaxed even. They're laughing. They're talking. They're even being charming. Mm, right? You're confused. You're hurt. You're angry. A far cry from the person you recently knew. This narcissist has somehow transformed back into the amazing person you originally met. The one you fell in love with. But seconds later, almost as if time is moving in slow motion, you recognize what's going on here. Your narcissist has found their next victim. They're in the process of love bombing the next victim. And for just a moment, you have a front row seat. I know it stings, my friend. I know it hurts when you see that person you fell in love with re-emerging now that you're gone. And I know that you wonder, at least a little bit, if somehow, the narcissist was right all along. Was it really just you? Were you really the problem in that relationship and it wasn't that person after all? Why does the narcissist become the person you fell in love with when you leave? It's time for a reality check, my love. First, I want to acknowledge that while every step in the process is incredibly painful, this one is probably one of the most confusing. See, while the bigger part of you knows that the narcissist is never going to really change, this other little part of you still loves the narcissist or the version of the narcissist that you once believed was real. And that's the part of the narcissist that they're parading around right now. So it's like you're mourning the version of the person you fell in love with many years ago or months ago or whatever. But I want to repeat something to you here. The problem wasn't you. The problem was that the narcissist started taking you for granted. The narcissist got used to having you around. Maybe the narcissist had shiny new object syndrome or they said life was too boring. Well, you know, I gotta go. And maybe they left to pursue whatever it was that they wanted in that moment. Maybe you just finally had enough and you left the narcissist yourself. In any case, here's the reason the narcissist suddenly becomes Mr. or Miss Perfect again. Whether it was their idea to end things or yours, they're now without a source of narcissistic supply at least a primary source. And so that means, guess what, my friend? The narcissist is on the prowl. This is normal. And sadly for the narcissist, you already know how this story is gonna end, right? As you know, narcissists have a little personality issue. <laughs> They're kind of hard to live with. And even a reasonably intelligent person would feel ashamed that they tolerate the bullshit. So they may keep it under wraps, like you probably did. So you might never know for sure, my friend. But narcissistic abuse does run in cycles, and this is one of the cycles. So if I'm in your shoes at this point, I'm gonna make use of the no contact, low contact thing, and I'm gonna use that to my advantage. That means block both the narcissist and the new supply on Facebook. So this way you don't have to see it. You don't have to torture yourself by looking at their profiles and all their happy, happy pictures. It means you don't listen when some well-meaning flying monkey comes along to tell you updates on the narcissist. It means you're gonna move forward and focus only on what you can control not what you can't. But look, you couldn't control them while you were together. You sure as hell can't control them now, nor should you want to. The narcissist, my friend, is no longer your problem and that's a blessing. So how do you deal with the painful reality of watching your narcissist be perfect for another person? Well, you start by remembering what it was that you dealt with. 
in your relationship. And by recognizing what this new person is going to deal with now that they're in that relationship. Because the truth is the narcissist only has one relationship. That's the one with him or herself. Everybody else is just in their minds an extension. And listen, even if you're tempted to warn the narcissist new supply about what he or she is getting themselves into, don't do it. Even if your intentions are good, it won't work. The fact of the matter is that giving a narcissist new supply a heads up seems like a great idea, especially if you're a caring, loving person. The narcissist has already told this person you're crazy. They've probably already told this person that you might try to warn them. And except they put it like, just be aware this person is really obsessed with me. So they may come and be like, hey, he abused me or she abused me. She did this, she did that. But the fact of the matter is that person's crazy, blah, blah. In any case, don't sit around thinking that the narcissist new supply will end up getting the benefit of all your work, all the work you did trying to fix the narcissist because it doesn't work that way, my friend. The narcissist, they are what they are. And even other experts will tell you a narcissist can't change, at least not for long anyway. Remember this, you are not really mourning the person that you lost. You're mourning the illusion of what you believe that person was. It's an ever turning cycle that the narcissist repeats in varying iterations for the rest of his or her life. Be glad you're off the wheel. Stay focused on yourself and on making your own life better. You have already been tortured enough, my friend. And if you let this situation continue to make you miserable, you're only going to allow the narcissist to continue the abuse from afar. You are allowing the narcissist to remain in control of yourself, even though you're not with him or her anymore. So take back your life. Choose to be happy in your own way, the way that makes you happy. Focus on what you can control and not what you can't control. Heal and release the anger. As one of my beautiful SPAN members once said, work on your healing and the layers of anger will soon disappear. One of the hardest things for this person was mourning the illusion of the perfect relationship, the one that we all want to believe. Letting go of that, she said, was a huge step for her. So I want you to remember, never compare yourself to another supply, a new supply, an old supply, unless you do so in order to feel sorry for him or her, because I'm sure if you bother to look, which I hope that you don't, you will see the narcissist's pattern doesn't change. This is a pattern that you're thankfully no longer subjected to in your life. This is a pattern that is painful for anyone who goes through it on the receiving end, of course. Don't do yourself the disservice of trying to think that the new supply is somehow better than you. The truth is that narcissists are very picky in their own ways. Chances are if the new supply seems better somehow, it's only because the narcissist hasn't ruined the new supply yet. Don't if only and what if yourself to death. It's common to have feelings of regret after a relationship ends. Listen, you wouldn't be human if you didn't wonder, hmm, what could I have done differently? Did something I do or say trigger this breakup? Did it all go downhill because of me? But listen, my friend, first of all, that's probably not the case. And second of all, it's not helping you. It's not helping you to do any better for yourself. It's only causing you more pain. And chances are you couldn't have changed the situation even if you wanted to, at least not without going completely insane trying to make the narcissist happy. Now it's time to live in the moment, in time to think about how you want your future to go. Now it's time for you to share your input. It's time for the question of the day. And the question of the day is, have you ever experienced watching or seeing your new narcissist get involved with a new person? Or even just appear to return to being the person they used to be for someone else. Share your thoughts and your feelings and your experiences in the comments section below because I'd love to talk about this with you guys. This is something that I think many of us go through, this, this fear of watching them become the person we wanted in the first place. And maybe it makes you happy to hear it, maybe it makes you sad to hear it, but the fact is they don't change. Even when we think they're gonna change, they don't change, all right? So share your thoughts, share your ideas, let me hear them below. All right, that's all I've got for you right now. I'll see you later today for another video. Have a wonderful day and thanks so much for being a part of my day and a part of my life. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll see you soon. It's my mission to teach others what I know to be true. You really can create the life you want. Take care of your body, take care of your soul, nurture the real you and introduce him or her to the world. Be comfortable in your own skin and in your place in this world. Take your spot, take it now, and the universe will take its cue from you. You feel me? If so, subscribe to my channel. Let's get it done together.